Two men who helped respond to and treat victims during last year's Las Vegas mass shooting are in the Miami Valley today. They're sharing their story with local emergency responders. Two News reporter Devro Bogart is asking questions about what all emergency and medical units can learn from the tragedy. Both a Clark County, Nevada fire chief and a medical director of a Las Vegas hospital here saying that October day still haunts them, but they learned so much about preparation and proper aftermath protocol that it's a message all departments nationwide need to hear. 58 people killed, over 500 gunshot victims. One of the nation's worst mass casualty shootings in history happened less than a year ago in Las Vegas. Today, 245 people from over 75 agencies listening to two men who are on the front lines and lessons they learned from that tragic day. You have to just ask yourself the question. It's not, you know, if it's going to happen again, it's when it's going to happen again. Both Dr. Shear and Fire Chief Greg Castle say Las Vegas was probably more prepared than most cities for a mass casualty incident or MCI, but it still stressed their capabilities. How to handle mass quantities of patients in a mass casualty incident, how to handle them at the hospital, how to handle them on the scene. Uh, and how to deal with a rapidly expanding incident such as that. Shear says there were a lot of positive aspects of the response, like communication between hospital staff to use all available beds, but realized it's crucial to monitor electronic health records and practice on a much larger scale. We always prepared for tabletops of 20 or 30 patients at a time, and that was our mass casualty incident plan. However, Sunrise Hospital saw 260 patients in a matter of an hour. Both men saying maybe the biggest lesson, the life-saving importance of a positive relationship between fire, police, EMS services, and the hospitals. We have since built what's called our hospital response plan, where we're going to deploy resources to the hospitals to help them manage the MCI that moves to their location for whatever reason. Finally, they say aftermath is just as integral, keeping in mind mental health for all involved the victims, EMS, dispatch, and firefighters, having a set plan and list of resources available to all impacted. Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.